Hey there, IDK Fred here today, and I'm going to be unboxing or just cutting off little pieces right here of my new Duramax Coldwell Shooting Supply something Palmier Ball. Whatever, I'm going to try shooting this with my new 223, see if we can knock it down range a little bit. Here we go. And all I think I have to cut it open with. Oh no, not even in that pocket. Oh, it's right here. It's a tiny little knife because that's all I had and I think I put it through the wash like five times in these pair of pants. Who knows, whatever. We'll see if we can, oh, okay. We're gonna break this knife trying to open this. Guaranteed. Okay, we're just gonna try to pop open the clips then. Maybe. Fine, we're just gonna try to pull it off. Whatever, we're just gonna leave them on there. Screw it, I don't care. And I'm just gonna chuck it out there. Eh, good enough, we'll start short range. Zoom in on it here. Okay, no guarantees I can hit it. I've only shot this gun once. Here we go. Still, nope. Might have to put it out there further, see if it's, I think it's shooting a little bit high. Nope. I have no clue where I'm hitting. I'm gonna have to throw a target to actually sight this in. Okay, we're going super close yet again, as I already said, and we're gonna shoot that little palmier ball off the top of this water jug, hopefully. If it's not accurate up to this close, then fuck it, I just suck at this. But here we go. Still missed it. Here we go again. It's shooting to the right, I feel like. Wait, are those holes in the jug? It looks like I hit the jug. I am fairly damn sure I hit that little bouncing ball. And I think I'm out of ammo here. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm gonna check this stupid little ball. Okay, I sent one through right here, one grazed the side of that and puncture right there. So we got two holes through the middle of this sucker. And then for the ball. Oh, we have hit the ball. What do you know? There's at least one sunk it right through that. Good. Okay, we're gonna rest the ball lightly on here. We're not even gonna press it down like we did before. There we go. It's rest. No! Screw it. We're just going to set it right here, and we'll know if we hit it, if the water jug explodes. <laughs> here we go again. Mm. 
I think we hit at least one of them. Let's go find out. Well, the jug is completely gone. The bullet looks like it went underneath the jug here and tore up right there. If we can see that on the camera, I have no fucking clue. Let's see about the ball. Oh, we just might have had it hit right here on the very bottom of the ball. Yeah, well that was amazing. Now we're just gonna try to shoot the ball alone. See if we can get the ball to even move with the 223. If it doesn't move with the 223, this sucks. There's no point to get this stupid ball. We moved the ball. We did something here. There we go. Finally, a reactive hit. Oh, ta-da! Take that. Yes. Barely moving it. This isn't good. I think this might be it right here. Oh, we missed it. It looks wonderful, like we actually hit it a couple times. Dang. So beautiful. So my gun is aiming down and to the no, so it's shooting up and to the right. It's aiming down and to the left to be able to hit up and to the right. So whatever, you get the idea. Okay, so as you can see, the ball is a little bit beat up right here. You can see little torn up pieces of plastic on it, but it does kind of self heal itself. I've got a lot of little shrapnel pieces all over the bottom here and stuff, if you can see that. But yeah, not a bad ball if you can hit it. Yeah keyword if you can hit it but yeah so thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more random stuff like this and as always i don't know see ya